Hey guys, Josh here, and today we're gonna to be talking about a comparison between the Alex and the Clear. I'm aware that these come in at two different price ranges. It's not really fair from that perspective. On Amazon, you can find the Clear for about $1,500, and on MassDrop, I think you can find the Alex for about $800. Uh, we're gonna be talking about sound uh, quality comparatively here, and then we'll talk about price difference and value in the conclusion. Before we get started, I wanna send a huge thank you to the individual who sent these out for a review and a comparison. Thank you, Justin, I really appreciate it. And I also have individual reviews of both of these as well as the Focal Utopia, and you can find links to those in the description down below. All right, let's get started. So first we're gonna talk about build quality to which outside of the unboxing experience, they are almost identical in terms of build. There are a couple key differences though. Um, one, the actual ring on this grill is slightly understated on the Alex and a little bit bigger on the clear. Not much of a difference there. Uh, the pads on the Alex though are ever so slightly softer than on the clear and the clamp force is also a little bit tighter on the Alex. Now this Alex right here is brand new and I don't know how used the uh, clear is, although it does look in brand new condition as well. But the clamp force of the units that I have in front of me right now is a little bit stronger on the Alex. But other than that, effectively, they're just about the same build quality. They both come with a set of a balanced and single-ended cables. Both terminate to a 3.5 millimeter on the right and left ear cups. But overall, they both have really great builds. Now for the actual efficiency of both and what you need to drive them. The Alex is actually gonna come in a slightly higher impedance of 80 ohms versus the 55 ohms of the clear. And they both have a sound pressure a level of 104 decibels. So you can pretty much run them off of anything to a very enjoyable level, but they're both revealing enough to benefit from going to an amplifier. And regarding the amplifier and DAC that I used to test and come to the conclusions for this video on was the DX7S DAC running balanced out to the THX AAA 789. Okay, now for sound quality, and this is gonna kind of be a complaint for Focal, but kind of not at the same time. Uh, they both definitely have a similar sound signature. In fact, both are similar, again, to the much more expensive Utopia. And that's good for brand consistency because Focal definitely tend to have a very, very specific sound signature that they go for. Focal is kind of the most tightly knit of any of those brands that I mentioned, in my opinion. Now, this kind of works a little bit against them because from the $800 Alex to the, what is it, $4,000 Utopia, there's not a massive amount of difference in the sound signature, uh, but we'll talk about whether or not that difference is worth it in the conclusion. So what are the differences? Well, the Alex is a much more focused, much more intense headphone than the Clear, which feels, comparatively at least, a little bit more laid back. Uh, the Alex, pretty much in every region, the mid-range, the treble response, uh, the imaging and sound stage, the bass, it's all really, really uh, tight, impactful, very focused and almost kind of crammed down your throat, right? It's like forcing you to listen to the sounds, which could be a good thing depending on what you like. Now the clear, in my opinion, is just as detailed, but it feels a little bit more laid back compared to the Alex. And, and if I'm being completely transparent with you, I actually prefer the sound signature of the clear. It's actually my preferred over the Utopia and the Alex. Now the trouble response on the Alex is what I would consider to be a combination of factors, but it leads to a somewhat sharp experience. Uh, one, you're talking about a very analytical, very detailed treble response on, on top of uh, very, very impressive, almost to a fault uh, dynamics. And so when you're listening to trumpet that's blasting, while very accurate to the recording, I'm sure, it is not necessarily an enjoyable thing for me to listen to, but it can benefit the Alex in certain circumstances and for certain songs. Uh, it can often sparkle a little bit more and just seem a little bit more alive in the treble response than the clear is. Specifically, the song I'm mentioning, it was the Within track from the Daft Punk Random Access Memories album. Now, this isn't to say that the clear's treble response is poor by any means. It just doesn't have as much uh, highlighting of certain frequencies as the Alex does. Now, which one's better for accuracy's sake? I don't really know which one would be necessarily better, but I certainly liked the treble response on the clear a little bit more. Now, mid-range is gonna be a toss-up of preference. Now, to start off with a benefit to the clear, the clear overall has what I would consider to be a much cleaner, uh, much more neutral mid-range response. Now, it is a little bit stepped back compared to the intense kind of in-your-face approach of the Alex, and uh, 
I do like the Alexis forwardness a little bit more than the clear, but the clear definitely tends to have what I would consider at least to be more accurate representation of the vocalist position. Now regarding that, the Alex is no joke there either. Uh, the Alex definitely has a more warmer, more engaging mid-range performance, especially for vocals. The uh, vocals seem a lot more almost uh, alive, soulful, that type of thing. And for vocals specifically, I actually like the Alex more. I'm a huge fan of like the HD 600 and 6XX for their vocal intimacy. And uh, I do prefer out of these two at least, the Alex for that. And when it comes to instruments though, while the warmth does go a little bit towards the Alex in terms of just an enjoyable experience, uh, I am gonna have to give the upper hand in the mid range for instruments to the clear. It just feels a little bit more natural. You know, guitars don't seem quite rammed in your face like you're listening to a guitar that's right there. Like nobody wants that. At least I don't. But it's really just gonna be a toss up of your preference. Now, bass response, and I'm sorry to sound like a broken record here, but it's definitely more intense, more focused, uh, perhaps a little bit loose on the Alex, actually, comparatively. Like, I always thought the Alex was really, really tight performing bass response. Um, and it still is. Just in comparison, I feel like the clear is just a little bit more tight. Well, noticeably more tight, actually and it makes the uh, the Alex almost seem kind of muddy, even though it is, you know, it's a very good bass response, just in comparison, just feels a little bit looser and not quite as tight and refined as on the clear. Uh, now regarding imaging and soundstage, both are very competent in the imaging area. And then soundstage, in terms of technicality of a sound field, I'm definitely giving that to the clear. In terms of preference, uh, that's really gonna depend on what you like more. Uh, the Alex is a much more limited, in terms of sound staging, it's much more limited compared to the clear, uh, but it does offer better separation for vocals and a tighter overall experience, whereas the clear doesn't have as great a separation for vocals, but it has a better kind of sound field representation and is perhaps uh, a little bit more accurate in terms of of forward and 45 degree and sideways representation, in my opinion. Um, and in terms of total depth and the accuracy within the closest point and the furthest point, it just goes to the clear. My conclusion here, and there's a couple parts to this, right? My preference in terms of if I could have either one for free, I'd pick the clear, probably in red and black because that's sexy as hell. But there's a flip side of the coin, which is the Alex, even compared to the Utopia, it's gonna get you 98% of the sound quality of these. And that extra 2%, I don't know if it's worth hundreds or an additional thousands of dollars if you're looking at the Utopia. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it's worth that additional cost if I'm being completely honest here. So my preference is the clear. What I recommend buying, probably the Alex. You're obviously gonna have a preference and hopefully I help direct you towards which one you may want. All right guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you again, Justin, for sending these out for a review and a comparison. And to the rest of you, if you wanna consider supporting me, if you support what I do, there's a Patreon link in the description down below. Until the next video, my name's Josh, signing off.